Good afternoon, everybody, and um, welcome to the Cleaver Man Cave. Well, in actual fact, it's not the Cleaver Man Cave, it's the Woman Cave, but it's been lent to me for a while. So in today's uh, vlog, what I wanted to do is just cover off a few things with you, share some information, share some thoughts, share some reflections. First thing I really wanted to cover is a little bit of a general summary about the marketplace and how the marketplace is adapting. Secondly, I'd like then to move on to talk a little bit about how um, we will adapt, what will our focus be over the coming weeks and months. And thirdly, I just want to touch on um, and acknowledge the work pressures that we're all feeling at the moment. So what's happening in the market in general? Well, I think the market is starting to work out um, what the impact is of the economic downturn, the, the lack of trade. Firstly, I think I'd observe that uh, it is apparent that some of the newer lenders, the unsecured lenders, perhaps we'd call them the fintechs, have closed their doors to new business for a while until they really work out what risk they are carrying. That's good news for us, I suppose. Secondly, um, the other piece of information that some of we've come across recently is some of the big trade credit insurance companies are starting to make their moves. Some are starting to pull their limits. QBE has been in the press. They're not our insurer, but there may be knock-on effects. We've got to keep a very close eye on uh, what our insurers do with, uh, with, with their credit limits because we really will need to match those with our funding limits. The third point I'd observe is we are now starting to see the early signs of increased numbers of opportunities. Some of the lenders who have stopped lending um, we're starting to see some of them, those opportunities come through. So we really must capitalise on those. So the second part I want to really talk about, OK, so with that in mind, how are we as a business going to focus our activities over the coming weeks and months? Well, I'll split that into three. First area I want to talk about is, and it has to be our primary focus, is to de-risk our watch list clients. Clients are on our watch list principally because we're concerned either about their performance or about our ability to collect the full exposure should they cease to trade. So we will be looking at concentration limits, we will be looking at overall funding limits, and we will see whether or not they remain appropriate for the heightened risk environment that we're currently operating in. Secondly, if we turn to what are we going to focus on from a new business point of view? I've already mentioned to the team that I need them to focus on full service factoring. Why? because full service factory gives us, factoring gives us full control over the sales cycle. We can verify debt, we can chase debt, and we can, we can ensure that we understand when we're going to get paid. With confidential facilities or where we're, not, where we're relying on our partner or our client to do the credit control, we're less secure. So that's really why we want to focus on full service factoring. Of course, we will look at other opportunities if they're good quality, but underpinning everything must be a rationale to see the client being able to trade through this difficult period of time. The third aspect we need to focus on is keeping our communication lines open and strong. It's essential as we're working apart and we don't get the day-to-day -day interaction that we make an extra effort to keep to communicate, to let everybody know in our teams what's going on. I know Riman, Shannon, Bruce and Christy are doing a fabulous job in that respect. But communication could come up as well. I'm open to listen to what you have to say. And, and these, these vlogs will hopefully address some of the questions you might have there. So the third focus is keep the communication lines open. OK, I did say I would talk also a little about, about uh, and recognise the working pressure that we're all under. As a management group, we do realise we're asking you to go that extra mile. We're, put it, we're asking you to do more work we're asking, and you're asking you to do that work in a, in, a, in a slightly shorter period of time. This is really to ensure that we can continue to trade in the format, in the shape we're in today. If we can mitigate the risks that the obvious downturn in the economy has presented, we can ensure that we come out of the other side of this really, really strong with everybody engaged, with everybody in uh, the roles that they're performing now. The last thing we want to do is see a, a downturn or in our volume which, or an increase in our bad debt that makes us think about the level of resourcing that we can currently carry. So 
Yes, absolutely. Everybody in the business is asked, being asked to step up. Everybody is being asked to do more. And everybody will continue to will make that request, carry on making that request for the foreseeable future. Will it be weeks, months? I don't know. But please try to look beyond the immediate and say, right, if we do this really, really well, we will be in a really strong position to pick up and go again when this is all over. So that's five and a half minutes. It's a bit longer than I intended, um, but I think there's a lot to cover. Um, so final thought is just to say, once again, thank you very much for your continued support, your con continued commitment to the business. It is very much appreciated. It's difficult times. Um, please stay safe, look after yourself and your families, and hopefully we'll speak again soon. Bye.